In today's video, we're going to talk about how to properly care for leather using Obanoff's HD. Obanoff's makes a great lip balm. That this leather is soft and su supple and uh, in great condition. So the best way I've found to get rid of the excess Obanoff's on my boots is with my dog Lucy. And a secret recipe of uh, beeswax and propolis. So I think most of us have a lot of um, leather items that we use in our day-to-day -day life, whether it be our work gloves or our work boots, uh, holsters for our guns, belts, shoelaces, sheaths for our knives, and oftentimes I think those things get taken for granted um, and we real don't realize that uh, leather is essentially skin and it needs to be replenished. You know, when it's on the cow, when it's on the man animal, it's always exposed to the fat and it's, in t it's, a com it's always uh, receiving nutrients and it what's what keeps it soft and subtle. When we take that away, then, you know, and expose it to water and sun and, and just wear and tear on all the elements, it will start to break down. And a lot of these things that we have are, are special to us. Um, when we go and we spend $500 for a pair of custom-made boots, you know, we want them to last. Or we want to we buy uh, spend our money on a really beautiful handmade leather knife or sheath or belt or holster. You know, we want those things to last. They're investments to us. And by just taking a little bit of precaution and just doing some annual maintenance using a proper leather protectant, these things will last a long, long time. I uh, uh, have done a lot of videos on um, on boots, and as you guys know, I like the white smoke jumper boots, handmade, custom-made boots, very expensive boots. And if you go back and look through the comments on my videos, you see that a lot of guys uh, <clears throat> uh, criticize uh, that that's just foolish to spend that much on boots. But the truth of the matter is this: I had these boots built in 2001. And here they are in 2013, still going strong, still being worn daily. So where, what is the wise investment? To buy a cheap pair of Georgia boots, $100 boots that uh, are not only uncomfortable to wear, but are not going to hold up, um, that don't support your back, that are just not, uh, just, just not good proper footwear. You know, the old timers used to say there's, there's, two thing, there's two things in life you're always in. It's either your boots or your mattress, and you need to spend as much money as possible on either one. So by taking care and making the investment in a proper protectant to look after these products, it's, only, it's a good investment. I'd like to know how many of those guys buying $100 Walmart boots, how many pair they go through in 12 years versus the one pair that I'm still in because I look after them and take care of them. Um, not only that, but I get to wear boots that have made to my feet that are um, far superior in every way to the other boots to support your back, support uh, uh, easier to walk in. Just, I mean, we don't need to go on about it, but I mean, it, it's just, uh, it's a no-brainer. Yes, it's a difficult pill to swallow up front, but uh, I've yet to have any one of my subscribers that have had boots made uh, that wouldn't do it over uh, 10 times. So, the best uh, product out there and it is, without a doubt, the Obanoff's uh, HD L Heavy Duty LP. This stuff was designed in, or I think around 1989, by Marv Obanoff. He was a uh, career firefighter and was looking uh, into trying to find something that would help preserve their expensive wildland boots. Because as he said, on, like he said on the website, they were wearing out, uh, they were rotting out before they were worn out. And so he went to work and, and put a lot of time and effort into this and come up, came up with this all-natural product <clears throat> that uh, is a fantastic preservative. That's the only thing I use, and it's the only thing I've ever used on my boots. And again, the proof is in the pudding. These boots here from 2001, and you see how I work them. It's a combination, a secret recipe of, of beeswax and propolis. And the thing I really like about it is that as soon as you put your fingers on it, this is kind of a hard kind of a hard waxy feel but as soon as you just the warmth of your hand it immediately starts to melt and to break down and what's nice about that you can see the sheen on my hands is that when you apply that on your leather and put it on your boots as soon as you wear these and the heat from your skin and, and from your body from working it forces this this the pores to open up in the leather and this stuff is kind of suspended in there and then melts and just and just weeps into and just drinks up the leather. If you put this, if you take a pair of boots that have been abused and not been looked after, a, a big pair of boots like this, full leather, you can almost 
they'll almost drink up an entire can of this Obanos. I've done it before and it's, it's amazing. You put it on, it's all glossy and shiny, and then it'll suck in and just dry, it'll be dry, and then you'll apply it again. I've applied it four and five times and still the leather will continue to take it. And the thing oftentimes with our boots, you know, that really takes, takes uh, a lot of uh, wear is this area right here because it's always hinging. And if you look at your boots, if you haven't taken care of them, you notice that it's become very hard right here. And this is where they'll crack and this is where they'll fail. So you can see mine here, even though they're, um, you know, 12 years old or so, that this leather is soft and su supple and uh, in great condition and will continue uh, to give me years and years of use. Same thing with your holsters. One thing that I've also really noticed about the HD is that it uh, is um, really good at uh, preventing abrasion. See, where I wear my knives and, and use my tools by putting the stuff on here, I've noticed that having them on the outside of the belt when I'm in the brush and stickers and going by sticks, that by putting the stuff on here, it gives it kind of a slipperier surface and then it will, it, rather than gouge or, or peel pieces of the leather out, it simply slides off. So it really helps with abrasiveness. And the other thing that, that's really nice with the beeswax, beeswax just inherently has an antibacterial and antifungal properties to it. So those of you guys that suffer with, um, you know, bad stinky feet or stinky boots, a lot of that is going to be mitigated by the uh, application of this because it just automatically is a deterrent to that and, and uh, in a natural way without using chemicals or, or things that are not good for you. You know, you, a lot of guys put products on that are petroleum, that break down leather or silicones. And, you know, who wants to be in contact with that stuff all, all the time? It just doesn't, um, it's just not good for you and it's not necessary when there's such a great product like this out there. The other thing for guys, you know, that are not, you know, maybe work office jobs or wear more dressy clothes, you know, on, you can use it on belts like this. You know, it's kind of, you can see... You can see right here where this, this belt here is kind of scuffed up a little bit and starting to look a little bit ratty. Nice thing about this open offs is you can just apply a little bit on there and let that dry and sink in. It'll lighten up and let those scratches go away. And then you can take a horsehair brush and then once it dries and you can buff it and it really shines. It'll shine and look really nice. Uh, it just, it really dresses up leather and it, um, it's just good for everything. Same thing with your um, with your holsters. You know, when you spend this much money and have a custom-made holster made, you need to take care of it. And just just you talk just a little amount. You know, for holsters and belts and things, a canister like this will last you a long time. And uh, you can just see right there that leather just loves it. Even this vegetable-treated leather is uh, just drinks it up. Just loves it. So a big fan. Boot laces, another good thing to put it on. Helps them last a lot longer, helps them slide uh, through the uh, German speed lacing. Um, just love the product. Some of the wildland firefighters, I, I have seen some guys talk about putting it on their gloves. And I don't put it on my gloves per se because I just wear them out so fast. But I have noticed that if I'm doing my boots and I have a lot of excess on my hands, I'll rub it on my, um, like my Filson and tin garments. You know, like the, the heavy wax hats right here at uh, waterproof areas, I'll rub that on there. And I prefer it uh, to the wax that comes with it. The wax that comes with it doesn't melt very good. It's almost too thick and it seems to collect dirt and gets kind of gross where the Obanoff seems to soak in better and is a great, great waterproofer. But uh, back to the gloves, I have seen some people turn these their gloves inside out, open off and really coat the outside, turn them inside out. And they like to have that uh, against their skin, the softer area, but uh, I don't know about that. I think, I think you need to man up and, and just put yourself to work and get some calluses on your hands. I don't know about turning gloves inside out, but I have heard people say that. So, we're, okay, so when I was doing research for this video, I wanted to share this product. I was on the Obanoff's website, and I just, I had some questions, and I made some contacts, or made a contact there. And I was put in touch with a guy there uh, by the name of Luke and was kind of talking to him about the product in the channel and and I asked him you know would you be willing to offer a product code uh, for my subscribers and I showed him a couple of videos and you know he, he got on board he understood it you know he saw what we were doing and and asked if he could use the um, uh, the boot care videos that I've done for 
uh, their website. And I said, absolutely, that would be great. Uh, but uh, in our conversation, uh, he very graciously offered to um, uh, a products code for those of you guys that want to buy from their website. So it is a W star, and I'll put that down in the subject headings, but you can get, uh, I believe it's 10% off uh, of your any purchase from their website. And he didn't give an expiration date, so as far as I know, that will stay open. And in addition to that, he sent me um, a case of their product uh, to give away to subscribers. Um, and so I thought we'd have a little fun with that. So I'm going to do it three ways. Uh, I'd like to uh, give me, um, in the comments, give me uh, the most creative thing that you could use Obanoffs for. Um, and also, uh, if you want to send a picture of, uh, I'll take a, I'll also give a can to the uh, worst work boots in the worst condition of anyone that can send them in and attach them to my Facebook page. Um, and I'll put that in the subject box too. So um, give me the most unique use you could use for open offs, G rated please. And also uh, send me a picture of the worst work boots, attach it to my Facebook page. The worst boots will get uh, a pair of open offs. And if you want to do a video response, uh, uh, also how you would use open offs or why you should receive some free open offs, um, I'll attach those and we'll give some away for that. So I've got several cans to give away and, and we'll just have some fun with that. Just, just make contact and and we'll get the dialogue and start talking about it. And another thing he showed me, uh, Luke from Obanoffs, that I was not aware of, is uh, they've got a new line of boot laces out. And these are a synthetic boot lace. And I've told you guys in past videos that the only good laces I've ever been able to find are the leather laces from, um, from White's, White's boots. Uh, they're super heavy duty and they last a long time, not forever, but they do last a lot longer than the things you're going to get at the boot store. The problem with the laces is they're, is they're so thick that they don't uh, fit very well in the eyelets and they're difficult to lace up. And the other thing is, is they don't slide very well through the lower eyelets. So it's kind of a chore to tighten up your boots. And so uh, I was looking at their site and I saw that they're offering some industrial strength boot laces. And so I said, well, throw in a couple of those and I'll try them out and, and see, see how those are. And the thing that I noticed about them when I got them was that they were uh, impregnated with a uh, with beeswax. Being a beekeeper myself, I can smell I can smell it. It smells just like the wax uh, from my beehive. And so what uh, what I was told about these is that they've put a lot of research and time into them, and that they are developed especially for for wildland firefighting, and they are woven with a lot more strands. It almost has, a, I mean, it's really a dense, tight weave. It feels almost like, kind of like a, it's like a waxy Kevlar feel to it. And so I've been, uh, had these in my boots here for about four or five days now. I've been down uh, in the forest logging. And I got to tell you that I, I won't be using the leather laces anymore. These uh, are, are so great on a couple different reasons. The thing that I really noticed about them right away was when you pulled them tight, even with everything, all, all of these eyelets laced up, that they came tight. They were so slippery. Look at the, can you see that? Let me pull that apart. Where the leather ones, you know, they bind and drag. But these, you can just pull them and look how, like, a, they just slip and, and go so nicely through the lower laces. And then through the speed lacings, the same way. You can see here, I put that through there, how they just pull through there nice. And the other thing is, uh, is Luke was telling me that they don't untie. And so you don't have to double knot them. And I've never had a boot lace that didn't untie when, when, unless you double knotted it and you're walking on it. And so I tried it and I've worn them now three or four days and I did not double knot them and they've not come loose yet. And I think that it's probably just the friction from the beeswax. Oh, great, great boot laces. How long will they last? I don't know, but I expect that they're going to last a sight longer than the leather uh, boot laces. And if they go continue to work as well as they have, um, I, I won't be buying any more of these. Um, and then these can be treated with, with the HD also. So, so what else do we got? Um, I guess that's about it. So uh, send me your comments. Send me your pictures of your worst work boots to my Facebook page. Uh, in the comment section, tell me why uh, you should deserve uh, some free Obanoffs uh, more than your fellow. And uh, if you want to do a video response, the best, best video response, uh, you can show your worst boots. You can show how you can be creative with them, uh, whatever you like. But um, uh, I've got plenty to give away, and uh, that's it. So we'll see you in the next video. Laces through. Get them nice and coated. And then we'll put our false tongue.